Okay, great. So, I mean, at least our test case is running. I mean, we, we're seeing a failure. Uh, let's, before we move on, let's a little bit, uh, let's understand the, the syntax of, of Nightwatch.js, right? When, when we're talking about clean syntax and how to write the test case, right? Um, and this way, so any errors that we, we will see, we can debug it and create uh, our test cases. So we need to understand how to write our test cases and how to use set value, what it means, how to click, wait for elements, assertions, right? Now, now if we take a look at the failure, it says, um, so, okay, first of all, the element body is visible. That's great. So this is, this. it went to google.com, right? And body is visible. Testing in page title equals Google. That's that is assert dot title Google, right? Assert dot. Okay. Now here it's where we're feeling the button is not visible. So Google always changes. Uh, you know. So obviously this is you know something that um, we can play around with. But how about this? Let's let's do this. What we're going to do now is just go to Google and I want to just click on I'm feeling lucky button, right? How and now how will we do that? So currently, let's see. For now, what I'll do is make sure the title is there and that's it. So we'll just leave it at the title. Make sure the title is visible. Everything else we we will delete it. Okay? Okay, great. Let's see if this runs right before before I start I want to introduce uh, something called tagging uh, tagging your test cases right so I don't want everything to run all the time and I just want to run this specific demo test so what I will do is here press enter and I'm gonna say something like at tags okay and I'm just gonna say demo Okay, great. So at least, so now what we'll do, our run command will be node. Let's see if you guys can see it properly. Okay, let me just move it. Okay, so the command is going to be node night watch, okay, dash E for Chrome, okay, Chrome, we're going to say dash A. So E stands for environment, which environment you wanted to run. And then A is for the tagging, which tag, which tag of the test case you wanted to run. Okay, so let's just click that and hit enter. So our browser should open. Okay. Boom. Okay, so as you can see now, both, you know, two assertions are passed. Now, like we said earlier, we want to click on the I'm, I'm feeling lucky button, right? So what we'll do is I will inspect element, okay, and then we don't need that. What we need is this. So the span is the very under, so if you guys are familiar with the HTML, uh, span is very, it digs de deeper and then you have list and li, all those different elements. But what we need, we want to make sure is preferably we want to click on the best, the, the top level of, of it, not underneath it. So it's able to assert. So if we have an ID, that's the best thing that we can have. If a button has an ID or uh, element has an ID, this will always pass. Uh, so the first preference should always be to look if we have an ID. So we do have an ID. So let's, how, how will we? Um, click on this what we what would we like to do we would like to click on this button right so okay fine so we need to so that's that ID let me just kind of copy that ID right now how do we form it well okay so assert and click enter okay we have to click on it so dot click right and then we're gonna do quotations yeah. okay for ID it is usually a hash sign like this it's not usually but all the time you have to put a hash to uh, hashtag to be able to 
to let them know, let Nightwatch know that it's a ID. Okay. Let's go save it. Now, for example, if you didn't know what click, how to use click, or you didn't know you have to write URL or you have to write end, and for example, what if I want to pause at this moment, right? After you click on it, why don't you pause? Like it says in milliseconds, I want to pause for two seconds. 2,000 milliseconds is two seconds. Okay, and there. So let's do that. Well, how do I know that this is how to, this is the syntax for pausing, this is the syntax for click. So if you go to Nightwatch, the main site, you'll see a lot of um, API, very good documentation on, on the APIs and how to write it, right? So uh, for example, I want to click on something. So how do you click? There we go. So here's a little example. Well, you have to say browser, browser.click. And this is the selector. And what do you want it to do? You want a function, for example, and then just a normal click. Client, or you could say browser.click, CSS selector. And that's exactly what we have here. For example, pause. And we take a, so you want to wait for a little bit. Whoops. Uh, you want to wait, right? You want the browser to wait. So there we go, it's an example. So any anything that you may have to do, you have to save screenshots, you want to use XPath, you want to use CSS, a um, lot of different things. You want to delete a cookie, for example, you want to get cookie. So all these, like, so many different things that you can do, and all of these are, are very nicely document, uh, documentation is here. All right, let's go move back to our test case. So. Again, open the browser, click on the I'm feeling lucky button and see what happens, right? And then pause. All right, let's do, let's run that. Again, just going to run the same command. Should open the browser. All right. There we go. It's doing that. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it was too fast. Maybe we'll, let's let's see if we can run wait for five seconds and see if it actually clicked on the button or not whoops okay so it's going to the button right now it's hovering over it but it seems it's not clicking on it okay so we, we we like to click on that button, right? So so instead of the ID, because it seems it's just doing that, let's do this. What we'll do is we're going to copy the selector, usually this, and then we will paste it here. The same thing. Um, okay. Uh, let, let's see if we can dig a little bit deeper and see if we can click on it. Okay, click on the button. So let's. So this is the button row. So maybe let's let's click on here. We're gonna copy that again. We're gonna go deeper level. Make sure that it actually clicks on that. All right. Let's let's try this. Let's try this if it if it works. Hmm. It didn't not click on it. Okay. What's his name? Submit. So let's see if we can have add another URL, like a submit, for example. Instead of a click, we let's do, if we do submit. Submit form, but we just want to do submit button. Okay, so let's do this dot submit, right? Instead of click, we're going to do submit. Go back to here. We're going to submit uh, this button name, or the ID is still there. Let's just copy the ID and we're going to use the ID and see if this will work. So, you know, creating test cases, it's a lot of, especially if you don't know the elements and uh, new websites, this 
this is the process. You, there's a lot of trial and error. You have to figure it out as you go and to make sure that it clicks on the button, it does not click on the button, things like that. Okay, so that's not it. Hmm, so submit's not working either, right? So submit is not working. So I even tried double click on it, for example, going here and then trying to double click. Uh, we can try that, but uh, I've seen that it's not working. So for example, if I were to do double click, uh, now obviously we're, we're not testing google.com, so it doesn't really make sense. I'm just want you to, the reason I'm doing this is so that so that you can learn how the syntax and trying to see if a test case fails, how do you solve it. So after a few tries, I've sort of figured it out and other guys will let you in on how to solve this. So first, what we're going to do is go to the ID, right? So that's fine. We're going to click on that. That is fine. But what, if you take a look at it, well, what happens is, is it changes, right? So the underneath the div class is changes so that it's not able to click on it because at that point it's no longer this is no longer I'm feeling lucky it, uh, I guess the feelings is I guess <laughs> um, yeah so it's no longer feeling lucky it's a feeling trendy or wonderful right so what we want to do is actually click on go here first then also go here basically the, the level below that right and then we're going to copy the selector and for for about I would say 80% of the time um, typically this works and we will understand that more and you can understand more on the CSS or an expat le expat level okay okay so here we go so what I did was first click here and then go click there now let's see if this will work okay all right let's try that again There you go, and it works and goes and clicks on the button. Okay, now on the next lecture, I want to do is completely from the beginning. We no longer want to test Google.com. We wanna we wanna actually test our own test case and test plans. All right, thank.